my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video. I'm going to go over some of the goals I have for 2022. So all of these goals are going to be reading related obviously um, and some of these are going to be not necessarily repeats of goals that I had last year, but maybe continuations or variations of. So that being said, the first one that I'm going to talk about is, and yes, I do still have my Christmas decorations up. <laughs> so the first one that I'm going to talk about is reading more of the books off of my shelf physically. So I believe last year I talked about wanting to get more of the books that I have on my shelf read so that I had less books on my shelf that I hadn't read before and I'm definitely going to be continuing that goal I think towards the end of this past year I kind of started to do that but I still have a long ways to go I initially had decided that this shelf was going to be partially TBR and partially books like books that I have that I don't necessarily want to be in my background all the time uh, but as you can see, I've changed my filming angle, so that's not always the case. So I might have to rearrange my bookshelves a little bit. But I did also uh, purchase another bookshelf that is living in our bedroom right now. I'm devoting about like a shelf, maybe a shelf and a half um, of space to be my TBR books. So books I want to read soon um, so that they're in the bedroom, so that they're right by the bed where I can read before I go to sleep. My, more specifically, my goal when I'm talking about this for this year is to get it so that all the books on both of these shelves are books that I have read and only books on the shelf in my bedroom are my TBR books. That's getting a lot of books down to like one shelf, but I believe that I can do it if I just sit there and like focus because I want to read all the books that are on this shelf. I do, and if I didn't want to read it, then I got rid of it in an unhaul video, so it shouldn't be here. Um, but yeah, so my goal is to get my TBR physical books onto that one shelf and to have it be much more manageable. And then this way, whenever I buy a book, it just goes straight into my room to be read, and then it can be sorted onto these shelves um, as I sort them by genre and then similarity within genre and also favorites. And a little bit of, of cover aesthetic too, like these ones are together, not because I love them and they're fantasy, but also because they have light colored spines. But anyway, so that is one goal that I have, um, and a good way that I am going to complete this is that I've started listening to, so I, I listen to audiobooks a lot, and so I'm going to try and focus my audiobooks on books that I don't own that I want to read, and then... Um, or books that I have on my shelf so I can read them faster um, but any otherwise any like buying of new books is going to be very monitored so audiobooks are going to be a great help but as I've mentioned in previous videos before my husband has given me a $20 per month limit for book buying I love that he's booing himself because I agree. Boo! So, as most of you would know, here in the States, $20 is either like one new book, or if I go onto thrift books, I could buy two books, possibly. If they're not new and if they're not hardcover, that might be enough to get two books and then also cover shipping. <laughs> So I'm going to play this delicate balance of one new book to old books because there are some series that I have that aren't completed that I want to complete and some old books that I've read that I want to have on my shelf. So I'm going to try and get those from thrift books, but like 12 books a year, really 12 books a year. <sighs> so I, I think that with my large decrease in how many books I'll be buying, I can get the TBR down if I just actually read. Now, also because of that, I will probably be going to the library more. Um, because we moved to a new area this year, uh, I still have to explore the, I, the libraries that are close to me. Um, 
I know that there's one not too far away and it looks really pretty and it looks kind of big so hopefully they'll have a bigger YA section than the last library I was close to because that section was tiny and I'd read most of the books or they had a lot of books in the series that, but they didn't have the first in the series and that was kind of a pain. Um, so I'm hoping to use utilize libraries more, focus on buying books that I know I'm going to enjoy and bringing my TBR down. I feel like that was like a whole bunch of goals wrapped into one long ex scenario, but oh well. One thing that, one goal that I have that's going to be difficult is I think I would like to participate in less readathons. I know. So hear me out on this though, okay? So a lot of the readathons that I've enjoyed participating in on the past have been like these month-long readathons. And that's great. But I, but when I do like five readathons and that's like five months, I just, I, f there's always this pressure in a readathon to like finish the TBR, get points for your team, complete the badge, you know, do whatever. And I, and I'm such a mood reader that a lot of times I find myself halfway through the month slowing down or getting into a slump or just being less interested because now I'm reading the book not because I want to, but because I need to and I have to get it done in a certain amount of time. It just kind of takes a little bit of the enjoyment out of it for me. I have nothing against read readathons, okay? Like, I'm saying participate in less of them, not stop completely. Like, there are still readathons next year that, that or this coming year, 2022, that I want to do. There are still readathons that I want to do. But I want to not do as many. <laughs> or, you know, I just, I want to not put that pressure on myself. Uh, I think all the, like, week-long ones, I still very much want to do. But in terms of month-long ones, I don't really want to do more than, like, two or three. Just, yeah, I want to see how that affects my reading life. So, please, don't kill me. <laughs> still want to know what readathons are out there, and I still want to participate, but just not in as many month-long ones. Oh, going back to the TBR thing, my Goodreads TBR is ginormous. And I think most people's are. Like, I feel like if you're a reader, you have a big TBR. <laughs> but if I pull up Goodreads here a minute, go to my books. Under Want to Read, I have 347. And I mean, for some people that might not be a lot, and for some people that might be a lot, and for others it might be average. I don't know, every person is different. But I would love to bring that number down, which is going to be very, very tricky, because every time I watch BookTube, and I watch a lot of BookTube, I'm always adding more books to my TBR. I, I would love to, so in addition to finishing all the books on my shelf, which most of them should be on there anyway, I want to focus more on books that I want, that I have on my TBR, that I want to read. And I have books on my TBR that are like coming out this year. For example, see my video on books that are coming out in the first half of 2022. Because all those are on my TBR. So it's not that I want to read a whole bunch of old books, it's, I, I just want to bring that number down just a little bit to something a little more manageable, a little more, like, less intimidating. <laughs> so I think a lot of the books I pick up, I want to make sure that they're already on my TBR. Again, I still love recommendations and I'll still look for more books, but I am a mood reader, so I have plenty there to choose from. Speaking of Goodreads, I always do set a Goodreads reading goal every year, as I'm sure a lot of you do. This past year in 2021, it was 75 books, and I very much surpassed it, and the year before that was 50 books. For 2022, I would like my reading goal to be 100 books. I think that I can do it, and I think it would be really fun. Uh, <laughs> I think that, well, my, my goal over the past, like ever since I've been reading, was to always read 100 books, but I knew that I couldn't just start off with 100 as my goal. So I started off with 50, and then I went to 75, and now I think I'm finally pushing through to 100 books as my yearly reading goal. 
And I think that even next year for 2023, whether or not I complete my goal of 100 books, 100 is always going to be my stable. Because if I read more than that, great, fantastic. If I read less than that, it's not the end of the world. But I think 100 is just a good average for me to have. I would just enjoy that. So I think, I think it's a fun goal. It's something to work towards every year, but not like too big and not like constantly growing that it becomes out of hand. So this year and every year henceforth shall be a hundred book reading goal. The next one is I would love to join a book club. I, I, I'm not really a part of the book club. When I was in university, I was part of the university book club. Um, but since then I haven't really joined a book club. And there are a few here on YouTube that are, are nice and like I'm even part of the Discord for, but I haven't like felt like I've been a part of the community for the book club. I haven't, I hadn't ever read the book of the month or attended the live show. For some reason, live shows are always at bad times for me. Like I don't understand, but I want to join a book club, whether it is one on YouTube that I'm joining and sticking with or if I, if COVID allowing, there is a physical book club, either through like my library or a bookstore, or even through another online social media app. I, at one point, there was another app that I downloaded because I was invited to join a book club, but then they fell apart after two books. Um, I, yeah, so every book club I've joined, I've either had to leave because I graduated <laughs> or it kind of fell apart. So I would, I would really love to join a book club and to be a part of like a more intimate bookish community. And that kind of leads me on to my second goal of the year, or yeah, my last goal that I'm going to talk about. Um, I want to do something extra or something special on my channel. I want to find something that is unique to me, whether it's starting a readathon or starting a book club or creating a new series of videos that are as content that's completely unique to me and something that I came up with or, you know, something else to do with the community if I, or maybe do a read along. Um, you know, I want to do some special extra event. I, maybe I will do a live show for the first time. Maybe I'll do reading sprints for the first time. I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. If any of you have an idea of like, oh, can you do this? Or I think it'd be fun if you did that. Or I think this would be a good idea. Like comment down below because I, I want to do something interesting and special on my channel rather than just make videos twice a week and call it good. So yeah, that, that's another goal for this year is to either do or start something unique for the channel. I'm also always looking to make friends with other booktubers. I <laughs> I don't really have any close connections to any other booktubers, but I also know that I could do a better job of reaching out and talking to people. So if you want to be my friend, let me know. I would love to be your friend and talk about books and do buddy reads. So those are all of my goals for the year of 2022. I've got bookish goals. I've got booktube goals. Yeah, that feels right. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any suggestions or if you have any goals that you're trying to reach this year, comment down below. And let me know, like, how many books are you guys trying to read? Like I said, I'm going to try and read 100, which is a new goal for me. Uh, but how many books are you guys reading in a year? Because I want to know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to click the subscribe button. I make new videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. Hit the bell to be notified so you know when exactly I post. All of my social medias are down below and they are all book themed so you can keep up with what I am reading and what I'm doing in the bookish world. Uh, yeah, and then I can, I follow you back. I will follow you back. <laughs> um, but yeah, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.